the boat, you have a front anchor locker. You have the rear storage compartment. You have under gunnel rod storage for keeping your rods under the deck when you have multiple people fishing and need to keep the rods down and out of the way. This particular boat has an 18 inch raised pedestal. Rod holders on the side of the console. You have a front live well uh, equipped with Pro Air. You have a bread box that pulls down and allows you to store electronics and other things you need to keep dry. Under the raised pedestal, you have your 60 gallon gas tank. Still leaves a lot of room for rigging and storing, uh, you know, gear and batteries and whatever you need to put under there. And then you have your secondary storage compartment, which also has a lot of room. This particular boat has a Garmin 94 SB 9 inch touchscreen GPS on it. Comes equipped with Blue Shark uh, preloaded mapping. Those cutouts on the center console are for uh, speakers. If you want to add a stereo and speaker to this boat, certainly not a problem. Uh, these boats are all custom. We can do just about anything you want to it. You have flip down uh, footrests on the seats. You have dual helm seating with rod holders on the rear of the seat base. That cutout there is made for an ice chest to fit in. You have a seat cushion over the rear live well, uh, which allows people to be seated in the rear of the boat while you're driving. It's a very dry ride. The water breaks way in the rear on this boat, so it keeps everybody on the boat dry while you're, while you're driving. You have a rear rigging compartment. This particular boat is equipped with a eight foot Pro 2 power pole. You have your 300 horsepower four-stroke Mercury Pro XS motor with your Sportsmaster lower. I'll tell you that this particular boat, I've driven it. Uh, I broke it in in 40 mile an hour winds. It was extremely dry, uh, extremely smooth. And I can tell you that this motor uh, has the whole shot uh, that's unbelievable, much like a TRP uh, lower unit. You have your rear rigging compartment on the other side. Once again, rod holders on the side of the console.